is gonna have kind of a shake up moment and do whatever they have to to protect the connection. That shake up moment appears to be associated with this Wheel of Fortune. This Hello Aries, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. We are gonna see what's going on between you and somebody that you're energetically connected with. Um, Aries, keep in mind that if you are ever drawn back to this reading at another time, it could be you're reading them. All right, let's see what we've got going on. Okay, I was told to stop. Aries, Aries, Aries. Aries, this particular reading is between you and somebody you have an energetic connection with. You do not need to be in a long-term committed partnership with them. We have the Eight of Wands, the Princess of Cups, the Tower. Ooh. Oh my, my. Okay. <laughs> the Princess of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords. The Nine of Wands, the Hierophant, Five of Cups, oh my, alrighty, Temperance, Ten of Coins, Prince of Wands, Aries, um, it's about ready to storm outside, I think it's going to get loud. Um, my apologies if that happens. It's out of my control, obviously. Three of Cups and the Chariot. Where's the Chariot going? Ah, Wheel of Fortune. Oh my. Big energy. Six of Pentacles. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Hanged Man. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> We have some really big energy. I want to take a look at this tower before we move on. Hold on. Tell me about the tower, please, spirit. One card on the tower. Okay. The lovers. The lovers. The lovers. Okay. Boy, we have some interesting movement. So, Aries, between the two of you, we do have we do have um, communication. Aries, you're learning how to communicate with your person in a way that brings balance. Um, this tells me that, that your person has probably been a little bit on the difficult side. Cross watchers, do not bash your Aries down below. I have rules about that. Aries, don't bash your person down below. This can always be vice versa. So you're learning how to communicate. Maybe you've been the difficult one. One of you has been a little difficult with communication. You're learning how to communicate on a different level. This particular person on the other side is also learning how to communicate in a peaceful, calm manner. So the two of you have had some communication issues in the past and both of you are trying to overcome them. How you feel about this person you have this very fun energy of, of, you know, love, but not deep, deep love. It's more like, I wanna have fun. I want us to enjoy our, our time together. I want there to be a sense of happiness, but I don't really wanna dig too, too deeply into that like well of emotions, right? How your person's feeling is they've got some fears and worries about the connection. Or this, like I said, this could be vice versa. At any given point in time, I could be picking up on your person over here, over here, and you over here. So there's worries and fears about the connection. Now, this is interesting. Aries, over here, you want to see a massive change occur in this connection. Either you're wanting this person to make a love decision and come towards you if you're not together, or if you are together, you're wanting this person to have a wake up, shake up moment and start treating you in a different way with some sort of, of massive love and romantic kind of energy. Now, if you're not together and, and your person happens to be in a relationship, you may be wanting them to end that and come towards you. Um, you may be wanting them to choose between you and another person.
they're wanting to see this. There's kind of a wounded warrior energy here. Um, maybe they feel like you feel wounded in some way. They're wanting you to come out of that. Um, if you two have been going through this cycle round and round of problems and, and difficulties, they're wanting that to come to an end. Your hope is for your person to put some sort of work in on this connection. To bring the connection back to a point of peace. Back to the way it was when you first met. They're also wanting celebration and happiness. So the two of you are, are wanting the same thing in a different way. Now. Where are we right now? We are the five of cups for you, Aries. You may be feeling wounded or heartbroken over something with this person and you're wanting to come out of that. They have the Prince of Wands. It's possible that, that they feel maybe you've come on a little bit too strong. They're wanting that to kind of tone down a little bit. Or they're very, very passionate about you, Aries, and are wanting... Whoa! Light, light mess up. <laughs> light malfunction. Hold up. Hold up. The poor dog got a little bit scared. <laughs> All right, light malfunction. Hopefully it is now fine. Sorry about that, Aries. Um, they may be wanting to come towards you in a very passionate way. They might be, you know, feeling a kind of lustful energy towards you, Aries. What you're being told to do, we have the Hierophant. You know, it's possible this person may want a long-term relationship with you if you're not already in one. Um, the Hierophant could be that you're needing to work on the partnership if you are in a long-term committed relationship or married to this person. There may be a focus on spiritual growth, but there's a focus on finding a middle ground between the two of you to bring things to a, a, good, a good and healthy connection. Now, let me just say, I do see the two of you working this out. I haven't pulled any cards on it yet. Uh, your other fire sign, Leo, had kind of a shocking ending. So we had to re, re, regroup and take another look at things. But as of right now, it looks like the two of you are heading to a point of victory and working together. It's just you're getting there in different ways. So your person is being told to put work in on the stability of the connection or to put, put energy into their work. Now the hangman, I'm showing the two of you are very stuck. Like both of you are stuck. Both of you may be a little bit stubborn and maybe that stubborn energy, but I do see movement towards victory. That's quite shocking, quite surprising in the two of you working together with the six of coins. So let's see. Let's see what's coming up. Potential outcome for Aries and this person, please. Potential outcome for Aries and this person, please, spirit. Okay, I was told to stop. Worries, fears being taken away. No more mental anguish. We have that um, King of Pentacles energy. Two of Pentacles. Okay, so the two of you are coming to this point of balance where you're going to release any wounds that have occurred between the two of you. You may have one more set of words, which might not be pleasant, but you are going to be able to overcome that. You are going to be able to find this point of balance. Um, this is the King of Pentacles. I'm using the Toth deck. I know he says he's a knight, but he's actually a king in this deck. And I see that one of the two of you is going to, going to basically protect the connection. It's going to do whatever is necessary to protect the connection and keep it strong. What else can you tell me, please? And there is going to be a new beginning between the two of you. A time for healing. A time for healing. So it, it looks really, really good. One of the two of you is going to have kind of a shake-up moment and do whatever they have to to protect the connection. That shake-up moment appears to be associated with this Wheel of Fortune, this surprise, surprise movement from spirit. It kind of causes a shake-up moment. So it looks like it's moving in a good way. Shaking it up to make up. So everything, 
everything's gonna work itself out. Couple tough weeks, but positive outcome. Good luck to you, Aries.